everybody, welcome to my latest brain break, so my energy break. This is a 10 minute workout that you can do from wherever you are, whenever you like, but you can join me live right now, um, and then it will be on my Instagram and my Facebook for you to do whenever you want from today on. I have two lovely core exercises for you today, and we're going to start on our backs. So we're coming down onto your back and the first thing I want you to think about is that setup so making sure your feet are hip distance apart core engaged so think about pulling your belly button towards your spine pulling your ribs down towards your hips but making sure you haven't flattened off your back so we want to keep our spine in its natural S curve arms are just gently resting on the floor try not to hold any tension in your upper body then from here we're just going to slide one leg out keeping hold of that core and then we're going to slide the other leg out. Now once you've got your legs out long you might find that you've arched your back a little bit. I want you to really focus on that rib to hip connection pulling your ribs down towards your hips holding it there again. Think nice relaxed upper body. We're going to take an inhale then you're going to exhale and you're going to lift your right leg slowly off the floor. Just a couple of inches, so don't feel like you've got to lift it really high, holding it there. We're going to hold it there for five seconds. And then slowly lowering back down and the other side. So lifting your left leg off the floor, just a couple of inches off the floor. Don't feel like you've got to lift it very high, holding it there. And then slowly lowering back down, right side again. Keep thinking belly button to spine, core engaged. Make sure that little gap remains under your low back that hasn't become really big. And slowly lower, other side, lift and hold. Thinking about that upper body, just relaxing into the floor, turn your palms up if you need to kind of just chill out a bit more if you feel like you're gripping the floor with your hands. And slowly lower. And other side, keep thinking belly button to spine, core engaged, pulling your ribs down towards your hips, slowly lower. Other side, lift and hold. And slowly lowering back down, we're nearly halfway, holding that right leg up, keep thinking belly button to spine, slowly lowering, making sure you're breathing thinking about breathing wide thoracic breath so using that rib cage expanding those ribs to let all the air into your lungs slowly lower we've got five more to go on each leg keep thinking belly button to spine slowly lower other side lift and hold so it's just a really small lift don't feel like you're having to lift your leg very far off the floor at all, back to the right side, holding it there and slowly lower and again left hold and slowly lower. We've got three more to go on each side so lift and hold and slowly lower and lift and hold. Keep thinking belly button to spine and slowly lower. Final three on each side, lift and hold. Just checking with that upper body again, make sure that you're not carrying any tension in those shoulders. And slowly lower and final time, lift and hold. And slowly lower and lift and hold. And slowly now we're sliding one and then two legs back in, making sure your feet are hip distance apart, core engaged, pelvis is still in neutral, going to bring both arms up into the air. Now to start with we're just going to do arms and then we're going to add in legs. So you can keep your feet on the floor, you can bring one leg into our tabletop position or you can bring both legs into tabletop, knees are over your hips, shins parallel with the ceiling. So pick where you feel comfortable with your legs core engaged remember don't push your back into the mat from here you're going to stretch your left hand towards the ceiling so your shoulder blade can come off the floor and then you're going to slowly 
move your arm out to the left hand side making sure that you're not rolling to that side hold it here and then slowly bringing that arm back in and then placing your shoulder blade back on the floor core engaged reaching with that right arm stretching it out to the side holding it there belly button to spine if you have both legs in tabletop make sure your knees haven't crept in keep them out at tabletop arm comes back in shoulder blade back to the floor stretching up with that arm and then stretching it out to the side holding it here belly button to spine back to the center and releasing back down stretching up and out to the side holding it at the side and then back to the middle if you've got one leg in tabletop change legs now so bring the other leg up and take the leg that you've had up down because we're halfway through so we're going to do another three on each side stretching through that arm and belly button to spine core engaged make sure you're not flattening your back off into the floor final two on each side stretching that arm up and out holding it there and then back to the center and other side stretching it up and out holding it there and back into the center final one on each side stretching up and out hold it and then back to the center and other side stretching up and out and back to the center okay bring one leg down two legs down give yourself a full body stretch if you had both legs up and then we're going to add on legs as well now so core engaged you're going to bring one leg or two legs into your tabletop position it's up to you knees are over your hips shins are parallel to the ceiling arms come up again make sure your shoulder blades are uh, or your shoulders are down so you're not bringing your shoulders up towards your ears and then this time you're going to stretch your left hand towards the ceiling and as you take your left arm out you're going to extend through your right leg hold it here for an inhale exhale back to the center hold in the middle for an inhale exhale extend out hold for an inhale exhale back to the center hold in the middle inhale exhale extend out so if you want to you could just move your legs now or you could just do your arms if you want to if you're doing uh, one leg up and one leg down then just make sure that you're doing alternate legs and arms so you're not doing all of one side make sure you've done some of the other two keep thinking belly button to spine core engaged keeping your knees at tabletop and if you need to make it easier you just take that leg higher into the air don't take it so low and don't take your arm too far out to the side keep thinking belly button to spine really stretch that arm and leg up and away and then re set them back to the middle we're going to do three more on each side doing really well keep belly button to spine core engaged make sure you haven't flattened your back off keep your pelvis in neutral and we've got two more on each side to go stretching up and away and then back to the center other side stretching up and away back to the center one more time on each side up and away back to the center final time up and away and back to the center from here bring one leg down two legs down give yourself a full body stretch so really try and stretch out through your toes and through your fingers and then just let it all go and again so you're going to really stretch out through your fingers and through your toes and then just let it all go then bring your knees into your chest wrap your arms around your legs and just give that back a little rock and then coming back up to sitting either sitting 
sitting in cross leg or sitting in diamond. If that is more comfortable, bringing your left hand to the floor and just reaching your right arm up and over. And then bring your right hand to the floor, bring your left arm up and over. And then bring your arm back down. And we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you for joining me for today's energy break. I hope you really enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next Wednesday at the same time. Bye for now.